Oh dear, quite an old specimen, aren't you? Man, it makes me think about age and the way every life form gradually deteriorates. Thing is, I'm a young guy, I am 27 years old at the moment I'm filming this. But even I start to feel older nowadays. What's cool is that the wings of butterflies, I said this before, but they tell you a story, you know. By looking at the wings of a butterfly, you can see what it's been through, what it's been doing in life. Sometimes you have the same with people too. Sometimes you can look at a person and you just kind of get, I don't know, their appearance tells you a story. So yeah, old peacock butterfly. If you watch my videos, the peacocks are going to be very common. Whoop, bye bye. One of the most common butterflies in my country. So guys, seeing that old butterfly just now made me think. It made me think about the concept of aging. And there was suddenly something I wanted to get off my chest. Recently I had a really weird feeling in my heart. And that's when I realized I was, I'm about to become 28 years old soon. Yes, Bart Coppens is going to be 28 years old. My birthday is June 14th this year. And let me tell you something about aging. The funny thing is when you are a young person, you all, you feel invincible. You feel like life is going to last forever, right? Everything is fresh, everything is new and exciting. And you don't realize that your time on the planet is limited. This is a contemporary experience. But recently, for the first time, I feel that time is slipping Time is slipping through my fingers like sand. I feel it. You see, it's not difficult to understand that everybody will grow old someday. If you are watching this, you will grow old too someday. I hope. And we see it around us every day. We see plants flowering and dying. We see the life cycles of butterflies growing from an egg to butterfly and then becoming old and dying. It's the cycle of life. And in, in theory, I've always understood how it works, but I've never experienced it myself. But I'm going to be honest, since very recently, I feel old. I, I feel old and that's a scary feeling. I realize I'm only a few years away of, for, of becoming 30 years old. Like, damn. 30 years old? That's, that's what I used to consider, well, a middle-aged person. And I know some people are going to say, that's ridiculous, Bart. 30 years old is so young and you have so many years ahead of you. I agree. I, look at me. I still have my youth. I have a youthful body. I have a youthful spirit. But for the first time in my life, I'm experiencing age. And I'm going to be honest, it's scary. It's terrifying. I've never fully understood that when you see old people walking around on the streets, they used to be people like you, people who were young people who had ambitions, people who had a childhood and eventually they experienced a full life and their body grows old and their mind grows old and suddenly you're at the end of the ride and you really realize this is it. This was life. It's over. It's all insignificant in the end because we're all going to grow old and we're all going to die. And I don't know, it's something I've always understood in theory, but I've never experienced it myself. This year for the first time, 
I have experienced what it feels like to grow older. Maybe it's my attitude, that maybe I became more mature in attitude, but there's just something that changed. I feel like, I feel like, well, I've been an adult for almost 10 years. It was almost 10 years ago that I turned 18 years old and I became legally an adult in my country. And I'm like, damn, for 10 years I've become, a, I've been an adult person. Time is going fast. And I never had that feeling before. I never had the feeling before of time, time slipping away through my fingers. And it's scary, I'm gonna be honest. It's scary. I mean, look at me, I still look young. Uh, 27, 28, ah, that's, to many people I'm practically still a baby. <laughs> when I speak to entomologists who are 50, 60 years old, they're like, ah, oh, Bart, don't worry about age, you have so many years. I agree. It's not like I'm having a midlife crisis because I feel old now. It's just because I have a new feeling, a new experience. It's kind of like being... Uh, it's kind of like being colorblind. I mean... It's, I know what color blindness is. I know how color blindness works in the body, in the eyes. I know there is a defect that um, makes it hard for people to perceive certain colors. But I can never understand what a color blind person sees and perceives. Like, the way a color blind person sees colors is I, I can learn everything about it from books. I can learn everything about it, um, how it works in the brain, how it works in your eyes, but I can never understand the experience myself, never, unless I become colorblind myself, only then I will be able to understand. And growing older is the same experience. You can understand what it means to become old, but to experience it, to experience it yourself is different. And it's scary. It is scary, man. Like in 10 years, in 10 years time, I'm going to be almost 40 years old. Holy shit. Wow. I'm happy I'm still young, I'm still fit, I'm going to enjoy it. But death is the great equalizer, isn't it? Doesn't matter if you're Vladimir Putin or a janitor somewhere in a high school. Hey, nothing against janitors. But you can be the king of the world and you are still doomed to grow old. And you're still doomed to die at some point. It's beautiful, it makes everybody equal, but it's also terrifying. Terrifying because you realize, wow, I'm making progress and this is not going to last forever. Yeah. I just had to get it off my chest. I guess it's the old butterfly that I saw that made me feel this way. Sometimes I look at nature and I just it gives me weird revelations like these, but uh, yeah. Huh. Anyway, let's move on, guys.